After last week's win against Buffalo, the Jets already with one more win than they had all of last season. But how much further can they go with what they have? Jason Orr with CBS Sports' Charlie Castro. Really glad to be with you on the NFL previews. It's the Rams coming to New York to take on the Jets, and we'll get to New York in just a sec. But, Charlie, when you talk about Jim Hazlitt and the Rams, when he first took over, they won two games immediately, have kind of fizzled out a little bit. He has said this week, that if Steven Jackson can't practice fully, he ain't going to play on Sunday. Can they win without him? I don't think they can win without him. And even if they had him, I'm not sure they could run the ball against this G uh, Jet defense. Jets have done a really good job. And Chris Jenkins, along with Calvin Pace, along with Greg Ellis, they have really done a great job of solidifying that defense up front. You see fourth in the league. So what do the Rams have to do offensively with or without him? I don't think they have much of a chance in this game, to be honest with you, offensively, because without Steven Jackson, who is a pro ball caliber running back, they really don't have anybody that threatens the run defense. So now you've got Mark Bulger. How can they win the football game? Well, you've got a guy named Donnie Avery, who's a speed receiver. Okay, He's going to have to make some plays with Mark Bulger in the ball game, but you've got to hope you get your pass rush holds up against uh, uh, a very good jet pass rush this year. And you've got to hope that Torrey Holt hangs on to the ball because uh, he dropped a couple last week in the Arizona game. Right, on the other side here, for the Jets, so much of the conversation heading into the year, Charlie, was about Brett Favre, and, and rightfully so. It's a headline quarterback. It's a Hall of Fame quarterback. But this week, talking to the media, he said he's becoming more of a game manager. Is that enough for this team to win? Uh, in this division, I think it is, because I'll tell you what, there's no team that's going to run away with this division. Uh, New England, uh, with Matt Castle at quarterback, and they're limiting uh, their injuries or their issues in the secondary, and, and Buffalo struggling right now. Hey, uh, and Miami with four losses, nobody's going to run away with this division. So with Brett Favre, maybe he's assessing himself and saying, you know what, I, there's one or two plays in every game that if I can take back, hey, you know what, uh, we're going to be hard to beat. And, and I think for him to say that, that's a heck of a thing for a guy that's won so many games with his arm and has won some games this year uh, in the last two minutes with great drives, and he made a great throw at the end of the game uh, last week uh, to win the game. So, however, I think this is important. If he can say he's a game manager and start there, this is going to help the Jets. And they also know what they are. They are a running football team that has a quarterback that can make some plays. In this game, that should be what they are. Run the football and then let Brett Favre do a couple of plays here and there, right? Right. The, the, to me, the, the only way the Jets do not win this game is if they give up a couple big plays in the passing game and they turn the ball over. So, it should be a good Jet Sunday. Yeah, we also said that against the Kansas City Chiefs. It turned out to be a good Jet Sunday. Ah, they made it interesting. They made it interesting, but they, uh, they Brett keep Favre, you in your hey, seats. Look, he almost lost that game with three interceptions. We'll see, though. I think he's starting to understand the offense better. We'll see what the computer thinks as well. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results, the AccuScore prediction, and as you would expect, the Jets the heavy favorite here because, look, the Rams, without Steven Jackson, they don't have much of an offensive firepower. Charlie, the Jets win. Do they win big? I don't think the Jets will win big because I, other than the Arizona game this year, and in really, I bet far through six touchdown passes, Four times you either had a player fall down or have a broken, a blown coverage. That doesn't happen every week. I think the Jets will win. I think it'll be a methodical win where they'll run the ball. Brett Favre will make enough plays in the passing game, and they'll shut down the Ram defense. Excuse me, shut down the Ram offense totally. So if the Rams can't get turnovers, can't make a couple big plays with Don Avery, then they cannot win this game. Let's go with the Jets. All right. So 1 p.m. Eastern kick, and for more on this one or any other in Week 10, stay with CBSSports.com. Everything else on the CBS Audience Network. Charlie Casserly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.